Hey guys and welcome to the video. If you're new here then welcome. My name is Sarah and I'm so happy to have you with me. It is the morning. It's not that early but given my lack of sleep it feels early. So as per my last video a lot of you guys requested that I do a new tea haul. I have not had the chance to go out and do that yet aka purchase those things yet because of course you know, as y'all know, tea hauls cost cash money. So today I'm going to kind of like meet you halfway, quarter way. I'm going to do a get ready with me, but we're going to talk about tea. So basically I thought something that I could do, maybe you let me know if you're interested, is we can do like a tea time, get ready with me, and we can talk about different tea facts along the way. So... For today's video I figured because I freaking love green tea and you know what I don't think you guys know that yet so basically over the last few months the months that I've been gone I have basically discovered my love for green tea um, as per any other video you've ever seen from me I probably told you that I love rooibos and that I love black tea which I still do but I've started this new habit of drinking green tea every single morning and honestly it's a really nice habit to have you guys so this green tea I think it's just like I picked it up at um, HomeSense so it's not like David's tea it's not any special brand it's literally just basic old green tea so here you have the tea that I'm drinking today it is the English tea shop premium collection of hand-picked teas green tea uh, fair trade and organic which is nice and it's this huge box you get 50 bags and it says limited edition I don't know what that means but I guess that kind of excites me nothing particularly special about it it's just basic like organic green tea. I put a little bit of 10% creamer in it because I find that makes it taste way, way better, like significantly better. And yeah, let's get started. So while my moisturizer sinks into my skin, let's find our first fact. So I pulled up this article, 10 proven benefits of green tea. So I figured that's a good good way to start. And so number one, green tea contains bioactive compounds that improve health. It's way too scientific for me, so let's read some more. So basically what it's trying to tell me is that tea is rich in nutrients that can have effects like reducing inflammation as well as helping to fight cancer. We love that. We love to reduce inflammation and we don't love cancer, so just one more reason to be drinking green tea every day. So while you let that sink in, I'm going to get my eyebrows done real quick off camera. We're using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Medium Brown. So now that my eyebrows are darker than my soul, fact number two, compounds in green tea can improve brain function and make you smarter. Don't we all need that? I know I do. So basically, green tea does more than just keep you awake, it can also make you smarter. And the reason for that is the key ingredient, caffeine. And caffeine does a lot of different things, and apparently not only are you getting a nice boost without the jittery effect from coffee because there's way less caffeine in tea, but it also has been consistently leading to improvements in various aspects of brain function including, and not limited to, mood, vigilance, reaction time, and memory. And it also has a very lovely ingredient in it, which is L-theanine, L-theanine. have no idea how to say that, but basically this is a amino acid that is having some anti-anxiety effects. So a nice fun fact about me is I first started drinking green tea for its anti-anxiety effects. So basically, your girl struggles, the struggle is real, and I found this tea at David's Tea, actually, called Namaste, or Namaste, however you want to say it. I think it's supposed to be like punny, but whatever. And um, it claims to have higher levels of L-theanine than other green teas. So, you know, I started drinking that and it helped tremendously with my anxiety. I would drink it every day before I had to go into work, like social situations, which is what I really, really struggle with. And honestly, it's made a world of difference. 
One thing that I do want to mention though is, you know, for a long time I was just consistently repurchasing the Namaste from David's Tea because I was like, this is it, this is what's helping me. Um, kind of didn't really understand that every green tea has L-theanine in it and it's not just that particular one from David's Tea, which by the way ends up costing you a heck of a lot more money when you're buying that particular one, which is going to be like... 10 to 20 dollars every time you buy some or you could just go to like HomeSense like I did and get a huge box of tea which I think paid seven dollars for that and I got 50 bags so it's kind of like crazy um my secret thought is that the Namaste doesn't actually have higher levels of l -teanine. I think it's just like kind of like clickbait I think it's a gimmick um because honestly drinking that one and then drinking regular green tea I personally feel has had the same effects on my anxiety it does calm me down a lot throughout the entire day which is really nice so that's something that I personally love about drinking green tea every single day so I'm probably gonna skip foundation I just went in with the Maybelline super stay better skin concealer this is one of my favorite concealers from the drugstore honestly I don't really buy high-end concealer and I almost always stick with Maybelline whether it be this one or the fit me highly recommend so just to set with some powder we're using the fit me loose powder and into fact number three green tea increases fat burning and improves physical performance don't we love that so all in all, green tea has been shown to boost the metabolic rate and increase fat burning in the short term, although not all studies agree. So could be true, could not be true. I'm always down to lose some fat and increase my metabolism as it does slow down as we age. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I try to live an active lifestyle. So it's good to know that the habits that I already have are supposedly helping me improve that. Um, girl, I don't know. Personally, I feel like it's really difficult to lose fat and you have to try really hard and it has to do with a lot more things than just drinking some tea every day. But if it can help, I don't say no to that. So we're going to do a little bit of quick um, contouring with the Too Faced Cocoa Contour and moving into fact number four, antioxidants in green tea may lower your risk of some types of cancer. I feel like we already covered this, but let's read on. All in all, it says multiple studies have shown that green tea drinkers have a lower risk of various types of cancer, which include breast cancer, prostate cancer, and colorectal cancer which of course, any kind of cancer, if we can eliminate it, this is a 10 out of 10 for the human kind. So pretty excited about that. I definitely don't want, you know, to get cancer, I guess. I don't really know what I'm supposed to say about that, to be honest. I think it's pretty obvious that this is a benefit. I really very rarely am actually contouring my face. Lately, I've just been doing like a light bronzing effect. Um, but sometimes you just need to you just need to switch it up and why not you know skip some steps and go right into the hardcore ones like contouring just gonna blend over that because you know this isn't gonna be a full glam kind of day but you still want to look cute of course can't go wrong with a good little nose contour Feel like it brings everything together we don't need our nose disappearing in the middle of our faces i don't know about you but i feel like the sun has significantly gone down since the beginning of this video uh, we're gonna go into the meat matte adore palette by the bomb not doing anything dramatic today i'm gonna probably stick to all of the neutral tones and um just gonna keep it light keep it cash this video was never meant to really be a makeup video but it's all I got right now so while we're at it we can move in to number five green tea may protect your brain in old age lowering your risk of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's so the bioactive compounds in green tea can have various protective effects I don't know why that was such a hard word to say protective effects on the brain they may reduce the risk of both Alzheimer's and Parkinson's the two most common neurodegenerative disorders so I mean from what I can tell basically green tea is going to save your life 
and you're going to live a long, healthy uh, life if you drink green tea every day. It seems that's what's happening right now. So, I mean, I can definitely get down with that. I, I don't know any of the science behind these things, but I know that the scientists do, and they wouldn't tell us this if it wasn't something that was well-researched. Swiftly moving along, number six, green tea can kill bacteria, which improves dental health and lowers your risk of infection. Another health benefit, you guys. This is crazy. I mean, actually, I think this whole article is health benefits. Um, that's fine. So basically, it's saying that the catchkins or cagekins your girl does not know, and green tea may inhibit the growth of bacteria and some viruses. This can lower the risk of infections and lead to improvements in dental health, a lower risk of caries, and reduce bad breath. Caries. Part of me feels like maybe they wanted to write cavities, or I'm just really lacking some knowledge and I don't know what carry is but um it also said to it's going to help reduce my bad breath so my boyfriend's going to love that all right number seven green tea may lower your risk of type 2 diabetes amazing some controlled trials show that green tea can cause mild reductions in blood sugar levels it may also lower the risk of developing type 2 diabetes I think that's a really nice fact there's like it, that's a pretty common one. A lot of people suffer from diabetes. I myself know a lot of people that suffer from that. So, I mean, honestly, all of y'all watching this, you should start drinking some green tea because the internet told me that it was going to help. So now I'm telling you. All right, we're going to stop there with the eyeshadow because I feel like if I go any further, it's, it's going to become like a dramatic smoky eye and this is not the look I was going for. Swiftly moving along to number eight. Green tea may reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease. So basically, green tea has been shown to lower total and LDL cholesterol, as well as protect the LDL particles from oxidation. Observational studies show that green tea drinkers have a lower risk of cardiovascular disease. So all in all, show your heart some love and pour yourself a nice cup of wonderful, warm, comforting green tea. So I think we can do some blush now. I don't know about you. Um, I like, I wear the same blush every day. I think I, I never really know um, what you're supposed to, like I have too many blushes. Like I have probably like 20 different blushes and I always bounce between two different ones. I don't know, I think I have a problem and I think I need to detox. I need to get rid of some blushes. I don't know, maybe we'll make a video of that. Who knows? So with that, I'm gonna take the Essence Satin Touch Blush. This one is in Satin Love. I like all of the Essence things that I own personally, I really, really love. I think that it's a really nice brand. I think that the prices are, oh my God. That was, no. I think we saved it. I think we can save this, oh. It's a bit too much blush essence. Your pigmentation is more than I expected. Whew. That was, that was a scare. Um, but basically I just love how affordable these blushes are. They're like $3 or something like that. It's like, it's stupid reasonable. There's like, there's no reason why you wouldn't want to buy these because, I mean, did you see the pigmentation that happened there? That's like, that's some high end quality, you guys. And I mean, they're just beautiful. They have a lot of really cute shades. Um, I think they have multiple ranges. I personally have all of the satin touch blushes and I like them and they're really beautiful. And um, it's just a really nice brand. I think I'm gonna do maybe a video soon about the Essence brand if you guys would be interested in that. Um, who knows? But moving along to highlighter. While I pick out a highlighter, we can go on to fact number nine. Green tea can help you lose weight and lower your risk of obesity. We love that. So basically some studies show that green tea leads to increased weight loss. It may be particularly effective at reducing the dangerous abdominal fat. 
Really? Because your girl struggles with the abdominal fat. That's literally, and I think a lot of people can agree, specifically women, I don't know about you men, but especially for us women, the lower abdominal fat seems to be a struggle. From what I've heard, it's like where you, where you lose the fat last, like everywhere else in your body, if you're like losing fat, it will like drop off your arms, drop off your legs, whatever. And then literally every part and then your lower abs area. So, I mean, the struggle is real for us women here. Uh, I don't know, but if green tea can help me with that, then that sounds great. So far, I have not noticed a difference. Um, the struggle is still real, but it's fine. Moving to the highlight I'm gonna use is the NYX Strobe of Genius. I have not touched this one in a long time, but it is a beautiful, beautiful highlighting palette. And I'm gonna go with a old little favorite. They don't have names, apparently, uh, but we're gonna go with this, you know, the lightest one for the ghost sitting in front of you. And we're gonna really brighten up these cheekbones. Are we, are we seeing this? This is like, hands down, one of the most beautiful highlights I personally have ever used. I mean, I always believe that we should just stick to affordable makeup when you can, um, because there's nothing wrong with shopping at the drugstore. I like to consider myself a drugstore queen and highly recommend this highlighting palette. I mean, I would definitely say it's a little bit more on the expensive side of the makeup things. Like I think this palette costs around $25 here in Canada. So, I mean, you decide if that's expensive or not. I mean, given the amount that you get, maybe $25 is actually pretty affordable. But seeming as I can't actually use all of the colors because of my skin tone, and I think that that would be true to any person who buys this, $25 might be a little bit steep. Leading us right into our last fact, green tea may help you live longer. Perfect. I love this. Perfect way to end this article because I don't want to die. <laughs> So basically it says, in a study of 40,530 Japanese adults, those who drank the most green tea, five or more cups per day, that's a lot, were significantly less likely to die during an 11 year period. Wow. Death from all causes, 23% lower in women, 12% lower in men. From heart disease, 31% lower in women, 22% lower in men. And death from stroke, 42% lower in women, 35% lower in men. Another study in 14,001 elderly Japanese individuals aged found that those who drank the most green tea were 76% less likely to die during the six study period, the six year study period. Wow. Did y'all notice that the numbers for women were higher? That's very interesting. I've heard that though, that women apparently live longer than men. Um, honestly, like cool, but I kind of don't want to live longer than men. That's probably a really controversial thing to say. I like just don't really want to die before, you know, the men in my life. <laughs> Seems very silly, but um, you know, like, you know, I'm going to get married one day and I'm going to have kids and I, I just like, I know this is selfish, but I personally want to die before my husband because I don't need to go through that. But I mean, he doesn't need to go through that either. So I don't know, I'm just saying, but still. Green tea can apparently help you live longer if you drink five cups a day or more. That seems like a lot. I drink one cup a day, um, maximum two. So I don't think I'm gonna get those added benefits, but that's okay because I don't wanna live longer anyways. Just one of those, I'm one of those people. That's like, let me live my life until it's over and um, don't extend it for any reason. But yeah, so I'm gonna quickly do some mascara and lipstick and then we will reconvene and talk a little bit more about things. 
All right, here you have it, the official face of today. Um, for those of you curious, I used the Longwear Matte Lip Gloss by Beauty Creations. This is in the shade Sweetheart. I think I just got this in a boxy charm. Honestly, I was kind of, I'm like partially not loving it, but also kind of loving it. So um, it's got a weird smell though, I'll give you that. I think they were going for vanilla, but it's kind of like makeup vanilla. You know what I mean? But yes, wow. So um, I don't know how well this video is going to translate on camera. I, you know, attempting to combine two things into one. I'm not very good at multitasking, so hopefully this video is not extra long like last time when it was 30 minutes. I'm sorry. Um, I just, I like to talk and I also am not super good at cutting out the bits that people don't care about. So uh. anyways, I had a great time. I enjoyed drinking this green tea. And I also love putting makeup on my face. I actually don't really do makeup every single day. I feel like people th kind of like think that I would do that because I have like a beauty related channel, but honestly half the time you're gonna see naked face or maybe just like eyebrows and mascara. But anyways, uh, yeah. So, you know, hopefully this video doesn't end up being 30 minutes long like the last one. If it is, I'm sorry, I've been filming for at least an hour now, so it's gonna be hard to cut it down. Um, I don't know how great of an idea it was to kind of combine the get ready with me and the tea talk. You guys let me know if you actually enjoy that or not. I think it was kind of fun because, you know, we got to talk about stuff that I know that you guys care about, stuff that I care about. So I don't know, you let me know. Let me know in the comments down below if you thought this was a good idea. If you want me to do another one and we can talk about like the benefits of rooibos tea or black tea or any other kind of tea or just we can, I don't know, talk about other stuff, whatever. You guys let me know what you guys are interested in seeing. If you liked it, of course, give it a thumbs up and yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.